everybody, Matt here, and as an aside to our 350 engine revival project, I'm going to show you how to home polish a crankshaft. So this, this will work if your crankshaft checks out. Now if your crankshaft is out of round or anything like that, you will have to take it to a machine shop to get it ground down some. But since we don't have to do that with this one, we're just going to polish it at home, and I'm going to show you how. So stick with me. And I think you'll learn something from this. So we're going to home polish this crank instead of spending the money to take it to a machine shop. We're going to clean it and polish it ourselves. As you can see, I've already started on the one rod journal here. And as you can see, the difference, not clean, but, you know, not, not worn, not worn out, but it can be done. And this, of course, is our polished one. So I'm going to go through the step-by-step -step process on this. Now, I'll be honest with you, I didn't entirely come up with this process myself. I got it from uh, Derek over at uh, Vice Grip Garage. Uh, he does it a slightly different way. I think he only uses one grit of sandpaper. Um, I use three different ones in a, in a polishing process, and I'm gonna show you that here right now. Okay, so for the first part of this instruction, I'm gonna do another one of the rod journals. The first thing you wanna do is wipe it down with a paper towel and get rid of any large debris, extra grease, that kind of thing. Next thing you want to do is just take a little bit of brake cleaner and just spray it off. So any minute dust particles that could harm the crank won't be on there. All right, now the next thing you want to do is you want to take your WD-40 and soak that journal in WD-40. or any other lubricant, uh, PB blaster, um, whatever you've got, it's similar to that. All right, and I do it in three stages. I have three different, um, well, four stages technically. Uh, three different types of sandpaper and then a metal polish. Okay, we're start out with 800, then I go to 1,000, and then I go to 1,500. So we're gonna start with the 800, and here's what you do. You take this, oh, and you, uh, you wanna saturate your sandpaper as well. And you want to saturate the journal again, best you can. I'm going to take it and wrap it around like this. Make sure it moves, so not too, too tight. Uh, now, the way I saw Vice Grip Garage do it is he took uh, a shoelace. I don't have any wide enough shoelaces, so I got some, uh, some gauze wrap right here that I had laying around. And take it and you wrap it around well, just one or two times like this. And you see how it's spinning like that? Then you take it and you just very, you don't have to pull on the thing very hard. You just do this for a few minutes and you'll figure it out, you know, what you're gonna need to clean this with. And you saw what the journal looked like before I started doing this. So you can do this as fast or as slow as you want, I suppose, but this is generally the speed at which I do it. Oh yeah, much better, much better. Now let's move on to the 1000 grit. And you do want to wipe these off in between, uh, in between sandpaper runs so as not to grind any unnecessary stuff into there. And if you want, of course, you can just spray it off with some brake cleaner to make sure it's, it's good. Just remember to reapply your uh, your WD-40 or whatever lube you're using. Right. And this process is going to be the same for each one of these uh, grits the 800, the 1000, and the 1500. I'd say looking pretty good there. Looking pretty good. 
All right, now that we've done all three of the sandpaper grits, I'm gonna clean it off. Get the WD-40 off my hands here. Okay. And once that's dry, after you've uh, wiped off the brake clean and whatnot, you wanna take some metal polish. I'm using this because it's cheap enough and it works. And it's some potent smelling stuff, so uh, be prepared that your nostrils might get assaulted. Just squirt a little bit right there on the journal directly. And then just wipe it all over. I may have used too much, but hey, it ain't gonna hurt it. And what you want to do is get a uh, microfiber cloth, cut it in a strip, about like this, and then do the same thing that you did with the uh, sandpaper, except you don't need to wrap it around, you just gotta go at it like this. Alright. Wipe off the excess. It's, uh, after that, it won't be a whole heck of a lot. And don't worry about tiny little fibers from the claws getting on it at this point because uh, this is why I don't recommend that you clean the crank before you do this. You just clean off the journals, polish them, and then you clean off the entire crank. That way you can get rid of any fibers that were left behind by any cloths or paper towels that you were using. But as you can see, makes a heck of a difference and don't have to spend the money on going to a machine shop for this all right well i hope this was helpful to you that uh, maybe it'll help you save a few bucks on your own budget rebuild hope you enjoyed this video leave a like subscribe comment help me out here if you want definitely want to hear from y'all